Hey, oh, I'm still getting set up over here. Uh, can you hear me? Alright, so, for anyone watching, which is, um, you, Drashray, right now, and anyone who might be watching the YouTube video later on, uh, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be playing through a game uh, called a Timely Intervention. Alright, so, for anyone watching, which is, um, you, Drashray, right now, and anyone who might be watching the YouTube video later on, uh, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be playing through a game uh, called a Timely Intervention. Alright, so, for anyone watching, what you saw. Apparently I'm causing an echo because I had two different windows open, so, there, I got that fixed now, hopefully. Um, Alright, so, what I'm going to be doing, like I say, is I'm going to be playing a Timely Intervention. And I'm going to be playing through, and I'm going to be doing voices for the different characters in the game. It's not going to be like a let's play, I'm not going to play it from beginning to end. And I'm just going to play through certain points of it, voice over characters, it's just a fun thing I'm going to be doing. I'm going to try and do it once a week from this point on, uh, maybe more, it just depends. Uh, might have some other people that'll join me, with, join me sometimes, and do other voices for other characters, and just see what happens. Just something fun. So, time to get started. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun doing it uh, before. I've kind of a couple ones in the past. It's just been a while since I've done it. Uh, one of the ones was really, really bad, but it was it was hilarious at the time. Did uh, some voiceovers for Cthulhu Saves the World with a friend of mine, and I did all the female, uh, most of the female voiceovers, which was kind of scary and amusing at the same time. Okay, so, time to get started. This is as far as I'm going. You're on your own now. Just as a janitor, you should be fine. I know you're taking a big risk getting me this far, and disabling the surveillance cameras. 
when you've got all you want, just leave. Your janitor pass will get you out of the building. Okay. But remember, if you're caught, I don't know you, and you don't know me. And don't forget today's date. Today's day, scary. I'm anyway. Maybe a fast check to see if there's any useful information here, though I doubt it. Uh, I just got started. Um, not really doing a playthrough. Like I said, I'm just doing a kind of a giving voice thing. I did just start the game though. Um, just pl doing some voiceover for characters, but if not, it's not like a let's play type thing. Jathan did say that I, what I'm looking for was further along. I better get moving. Time is running out. Just scraps of waste in here. Uncontaminated water for free. They treat your workers here very well. So apparently most other people get contaminated water? That's odd, it seems to be tracking light waves from space. Why would it be doing that? Why am I wasting time looking at this? I need to be moving on. Close down for the night. Can't be a critical system then. These stitches are these switches are sticky. Doesn't this guy ever wash his hands? Yay, I'm being hosted. Hooray! This one is a complete mystery to me. If they... I have no idea what this computer's dealing with. I don't think much of their security, leaving all this data visible. But who am I to complain? I can see why that sandwich got thrown away. That filling looks disgusting. This seems to be monitoring the anti-pollution system in here. It's the most complete one I've ever seen. I wish I had this for my apartment. There's a document here called New Funding Received. It's password protected, so... I can't read it, but it seems to confirm that Project Marlin is getting more funds when everything else is being cut. <laughs> huh. 
Must be operated by pressure pad. Why won't my janitor's pass work on this barrier? It worked on all the others. Because your pass isn't for a pressure pad? I don't know. That would make sense. Pressure pad, pass, mm, don't really go together. Okay, Praetis, think! Think! There must be something around here that will turn it off. A pass or something. Yay, now I get to check all those computers. I already checked. Hmm. That slot might be for slot might be for a security data card. Maybe for that barrier. Oh look, they helpfully marked exactly where it is for me. Yay! Some idiot left their pass on the water cooler. Security data card was found. Da -da -da. Okay, let's try it in the slot here. Success! Prettiest, my friend, you are a genius. I wish my format could have been more explicit, or that Jathan was more senior. Though I suppose that if he had been, I'd never have been able to persuade him to help me. This looks like it's coordinating data streams, but nothing that I can use. That means nothing to me! I had never even heard of Hiltax, let alone knew that it flowed. Yeah, that's how, that's how just how awesome he is. He first himself in the third person. Gexar waves. What are Gexar waves? I wonder if this controls that door. No, this input entry card controls the front door, even though it's by the door right there. You know, that, because that makes sense. That tells me nothing! Password protected. Just as well for me that most people have left their computers open. Looks like all these are closed down for the night. I'm not going to find out anything from them. Look, a helpful sparkly dot. I wonder if that's going to help me get forward <laughs> further in the game. Security are getting paranoid. It's not today's date. I'm never going to remember this. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Today's date? Jason also mentioned today's date. I wonder. Worst security ever. <laughs> It's a wild shot, but let's try today's date. That's what was in the notes, and Jathan did say to remember today's date. <laughs> Looks like that was it. Huh? This is all there is? Two little platforms?
Where's the secret project? What's here that costs billions and needs massive security that lets you in by the passcode being today's day? Why should the military switch most of their budget to it? It doesn't make sense. Was my informant wrong? Okay, let's see what's on the computer. There must be some hint at what's going on. <laughs> I knew I should have taken advanced computer studies. This is beyond anything I know about. You never know, they could be throwing you with the title. It could be like a false flag. The biggest story of my career, the scoop to end all scoops, and I'm stuck. Hang on, what's this? I think I can follow this sequence. Ha! So that's got something powered up, now what? Cause you know, always a great idea to turn on things and you have no fucking clue what you're doing. That's always great. Hmm, logically that switch under the screen should be activated now. Let's see what it does. <laughs> Wait a minute, that could be really stupid. It could do almost anything. Nothing bad has happened so far. Let's do it. Seems straightforward enough. Here goes. Let's just hope I don't blow the place up. Interesting. Now what? I can feel it vibrating! Hmm... I think she's a female character. To do the female voiceover or not... Hmm... <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> let's see. Hmm. Hey, you! What the hell do you think you're doing? What have you done? This thing's not stable yet! Alright, I'll work on the urgency a little bit. What? What happened? What happened? I'll tell you what's happened! Okay, tell me what happened. You've only gone and destroyed the most important historical and scientific research project ever! That's all! Nothing to worry about or reproach yourself with! Hey, hang on a minute. What are you talking about? Project Marlin, an attempt to study ecosystems and obtain specimens from before pollution. Killed most things off. Because that pause wasn't weird or anything, because I didn't know it was going to continue on. But anyway. Killed most things off, and attempt to recreate them in the biosphere so that we can have clean water and clean air and... And... 
Oh, I can't believe what you've done! Let me get this straight. You're saying this is an attempt to study the past? Come on! The military? What have they got to do with it? They're not involved. It's the environmental department's baby. Who's been telling you fairy tales? They're funding the project. Of course they're involved. You're the one with the fairy tales. I'm telling you, the military are nowhere around on this. I should know. I'm working there. You're wrong, but let's concentrate on the urgent question of where the hell are we? Wrong question! It should be, when the hell are we? What do you know? You're right. It is time travel. Anyone who's surprised, raise your hand. Of course, I can't see you raising your hands, so just tell me if you're raising your hand. Huh? I told you this was a historical project! How can you- I don't think I can believe this. But this is water. Yes, definitely water. And it's clean! But what's this stuff we're standing on? I think it's called sand. I've studied history a lot recently to help me understand the project. I don't believe this is happening to me. You'd better believe it. Yeah, you better. <laughs> By the way, don't go wandering off on your own. You might be attacked by an animal or something. What? Animals? Just walking around in the open? It's what animals do. <laughs> yes, walking around freely. Didn't you do any history? That's how it used to be. Oh, he stole your game idea, Hot Fire. Look, all this chit chat can wait. We have to find some shelter, find out where we are, work out what to do next. So, as much as I like to leave you to the wild beasts, you had better tag along with me. It's not safe to go alone. Take the female character. Actually, apparently she's the main character. It's not safe to go alone. Take the guy who fucked up and says back to the past. There's no way through here. We're trapped. Maybe not. We could try squeezing between those rocks just up there. I remember seeing that one, Drashray. Whatever happened to that one? I wonder why. You think a lot of people might like Chrono Trigger? <laughs> I doubt it. I find your can-do attitude so refreshing. Oh, 
Ah, ha have you seen that up there? No, we just went up here. I, I hadn't seen it before. I'm, we both time traveled here together. We can get shelter there. Maybe build a fire. What do we want a fire for? The sun is hot enough as it is. Fire keeps wild animals away. We want a fire. <laughs> hmm. I don't know why it deleted your link. That's weird. There, try posting the link now. I moderated him. No, there's no way through here. What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna climb up this vine. What did you think I was gonna do? Weave baskets with it? Er, no, but well, the thing is, I don't know how to climb. Copy what I do, or stay behind on your own. I don't mind which it is. I'll copy what you do. This must have washed up from somewhere. Lucky for us! What would have been real luck would have been a return ticket home. You got us into this, so I suggest you drop the complaints. Now! You gonna use that to light the fire? Nope, this is going to help with defending us from wild animals. But it's a stick. What use is a stick? I played ice hockey. Trust me, you can do a lot of damage with a stick. Wooden stick was found! Da -da -da! And I know what I can do with it. Alicia remembers how to hack. And by that, I mean hack with a stick, not a computer. Because there are no computers. At least, I don't think so. That's true, it can be a multi-tool. You can break it and now suddenly you've got two stakes. Uh-oh, bones. I forgot to read that part. Yep, bones. But that means that even this cave isn't safe. 
You got a stick to defend yourself with. I've got nothing. Sure you do. You've got her. Have you ever used a weapon of any kind? A weapon? Of course not. Unless you count messing around on a range at Funfair. I'm a journalist, not a trooper. So that's what you are. Yeah, not a lot of use in our present situation. So what was a journalist doing the facility? I'd heard from a reliable source that the military had switched most of their budget to the Marlin Project. I wanted to find out why. There's a big story there if I can get it. Right now there's not much of a chance of that. And anyway, you're wrong. No military. But back to the problem of a weapon for you. Did you ever get into fights when you were a kid? Of course, but what's that got to do with it? Then you can fight with your bare hands and just punch anything that needs it. I suppose so. Praetis glares at his bare hands and remembers how to punch. Because apparently he forgot how. Don't sound so dubious. With practice, a good punch can deal out a lot of damage. And now, let's look around, see what there is. Just more bones, I expect. And probably whatever killed them. <laughs> see, I was right. Bones! Bones are useful for information about a place. The only information it gives me is that something died here. I don't remember reminding that I'm not safe. This looks promising. Sparklies are always promising. You know, they, they usually lead to something important in a game. Are you going to drink that? It hasn't been purified or anything. See ya, Hotfire. Thanks for stick. Thanks for stick coming by and listening to me. Just basically play around and do funny voices. It looks clean to me, and I don't just happen to have purifying tablets on me. What a surprise! All right, Dress Ray, thanks for coming by. There! Nothing to worry about at all. Look at this, something's still here. Old headbound was found. <laughs> Ugh, that's disgusting. Picking over old bones. Well, I was going to offer it to you, but if you don't want it for a bit of protection, I'll take it. Protection, did you say? I'll take it. You have found a secret room. There are many of these to be found throughout the world. You will find them if you are willing to explore thoroughly. What's that? I'm not sure, but it smells a bit like that stuff Altron Corporation sells as a revitalizer. So... A lot of our medicines were once based on natural ingredients, so I'm going to risk keeping this. 
Hmm. Health herb found. Health herb found. What do you think that is? It's got an even stronger smell of revitalizer, so I'm guessing it brings you around if you're unconscious. Revitalized herb was found. I'd feel safer if we could find more of these. Then let's keep our eyes open. We will have to go and look for wood for the fire before it gets dark. But we don't know what is waiting for us out there. It could have big teeth and sharp claws. Don't be such a big wuss. We can't just stay here and be miserable. I'm going out. You can stay here on your own if you like. Er, uh, um, no. I think we should stick together. All this green stuff, just growing wild. Will there be lots of it, do you think? I expect so. There's a lot of it back then. I mean, back now. Oh, you know what I mean. And look, a path. Someone must have made it. If we follow it, we're bound to find them. That would be much better than hunting for wood to build a fire here. Maybe it wasn't a someone. Maybe it was a something. I take it that optimism is your middle name. I prefer to say that I am realistic. Hmm. What do you think this is? I have no idea, so I'm going to examine it to see what happens. Do you think that's wise? Probably a lot wiser than what you did back at the facility. Okay, okay, no need to rub it in. This is a stone of memory. Here you can record your story so that it is saved for the future. Tasty, tasty memory stones. So now we know what it is. How it does it is another question. Alright, I'm not sure how long I've been streaming exactly, um, but it's been a while since I've done vo a lot of voices back and forth like this, so I'm going to take a break. Uh, I may start back up later. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get back to the point where I can do this for a long period of time, and hopefully I'll be able to get some other people involved in it and just 
keep doing it, keep just for entertainment's sake, because it is pretty fun. I uh, hope whoever's watched this has enjoyed it, and anyone who does watch it later on, once I post it up on YouTube, enjoys it too. Uh, thank you for watching.